Okay. The Annama Combine 2023. Uh, if you follow me a little bit on social media, you knew I paused my life for the last three months to train for this event. Uh, and I definitely want to start with how awesome uh, Under Armour 2023 was, Under Armour Combine. Uh, big shout out to Under Armour, big shout out to all the staff, the judges, um, the assistants, the referees, everyone who was involved. This year was, was a different level. The way it was set up, the way it was organized was super smooth. I am, um, yeah, I was, I was blown away when I, when I went there to sign up to register. Um, the other thing that was super fascinating was the level of competition. We signed up as a team, Team Pirates, and the ladies started at 12 uh, midday, the guys at 5 p.m., right? So I obviously came to support uh, uh, the ladies from my team. And the, this year's women division, fuck me. Absolute athletes. Everyone was strong, everyone was fast. Uh, I was most surprised in the pull-ups. Every woman who's watching this knows how hard, every man who's watching this knows how hard pull-ups are. And I remember last year, uh, last year's Under Armour Combine, there were a lot of females really, really struggling with the pull-ups and, and most of them were not able to do a single pull-up. This year I didn't even see a single woman who was not able to do pull-ups and they were banging out five, 10, uh, 14, I think, shot at 16 pull-ups and, and winning this event. Um, so that was really cool to see. Um, yeah, then when it came to, to the men's division, three o'clock, I was a sign-up registration. And you could slowly see the, uh, the big guys coming in, the fast aerodynamic, aerodynamic guys coming in, the, the ripped guys, the jack guys, the and I was just looking around and I said, Oof, this guy looks dangerous, he looks strong. And I look to my left and I see a dude who's probably going to win the sprint. And I see, I see a guy who looks like he's, he's never going to get tired on the bleep test, right? So the level of competition was uncomparable, which is, which is awesome, right? Um, I love a good competition and seeing Seeing the competition around me started sparking that, that light, right? That fire um, for competition, uh, what you need to perform. And yeah, let's, 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 before we start, let's go quickly back to the training. I have to say, <clears throat> the last three months, I was working with Chris Moore, uh, More Power Concept. Uh, I'm not sure if he was the or one of the first Germans to play uh, American football in the NFL. Uh, very successful over there. Now he got his own gym and he's preparing the young and coming uh, athletes, uh, German, German teenagers to become pros to make it to, to America, to the NFL. Um, he's also working with a lot of fighters, uh, MMA fighters, boxers, wrestlers, so uh, he's very successful in what he does. And it was clear that if I want to prepare myself and win the Under Armour Combine, I got to go with Chris. Called him, um, we knew each other from before, training him was, was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously an SNC coach myself, I know what I'm doing. And so far I was pretty good in, in training myself for other competitions, but everyone who ever had a coach knows how, how mind freeing it is when you just show up to training and in this case it was online coaching right I open up my app and I just have that list of exercises that I work down I don't have to think about it what I like what I don't like you just start on the top and you 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 finish once you're done right once you're on the bottom so that was awesome and um, yeah fuck I definitely changed I, I put on 5 kg of muscle lost a little bit of body fat and uh, yeah, I was stronger, faster, and whatever than ever before. So I was definitely ready for that competition. Now let's go back to that competition. 5 p.m. we started. Um, 
the, the, the main judge showed us what to do, how to do, what are the rules, uh, what you shouldn't do to, to get disqualified, right? And um, yeah, we started, we had a game plan, starting with the vertical jump, uh, using the vertical jump as a preparation for the sprint, so sprint was, uh, was the second one. Very tricky, the sprint was very tricky. Um, the ground was slippery, so if I could give Under Armour uh, and everyone who's organizing it one good tip, change the flooring. Like, people were afraid of, of slipping, afraid of tearing a hamstring, right? It wasn't, it wasn't like ice, right? But in a 40-yard dash, all you want to do is create force forward, accelerate, uh, which was my, it's my strength, the first 10 meters is my strength. Um, but because it was so slippery, you were not able to put all the force into the ground to then go forward, right? Because you would slip and everyone slipped. The question was just, do you slip so much or do you fall? And um, yeah, so sprint was all right. Uh, then we did the, the cognition test, hitting those lights, right? Definitely something I have to buy. This is a skill you have to practice. I would say I'm not the fastest man uh, in the world, but I have good hand-eye coordination from, from martial arts. But you gotta learn how to gently touch those lights and flow, right? Um, so that was cool. Um, one big change this year was that the bleep test was not at the end. We didn't do it all together. When you signed up, they gave you a band and you had heat. Heat one, heat two, heat. I think the guys had all the way up to heat eight. We were a pretty big group of people, um, and that meant there was a fixed time when you have to run the bleep test. And that meant you have to change your strategy because you don't want to you don't want to do that shuttle run, die while doing it, and then go to a bench press or any time sensitive um, disciplines, right? Because you're gonna you're gonna score quite low. So I definitely had to get in the bench press before I do that, that bleep test. Mate that was really happy. Um, got a 127.5 kg for three reps, um, which is a PR for me. I was never uh, the strongest. I was never a bench press guy, but um, great. Like I increased my bench press over, over th uh, 20 kg for this year. Uh, so again, thank you, Chris. Anyways, the first time, it's pretty cool, like under Amor, offers a, a, a page on, on the iPhone where you can watch the scoring. So it's, it's a live scoring. First time I watched the live scoring, I was placed nine. And I only had one event left, but it was, it was quite late. So pretty much everyone in front of me um, finished all events, right? So I click on the, first, on the first dude. And the event that I had left was uh, the power event, sled push. I know that's my strength, that's the one thing I'm really good in. And he was ranked number three. That's up. I knew I had to win this event to, to, to win the Anama Combine, right? So I flipped the switch, I go to that sled, and um, we were pushing the sled on Muay Thai mats, again, very slippery, and just, just banging it out, flying through uh, the finish line, looking at that lady, asking if I had a good time. She writes it on the, on the paper, six seconds something. I see 10 seconds, 11 seconds around me. She puts it in the iPad, presses on, uh, on safe score, and I'm ranked one. She updates the leaderboard, I'm ranked one overall. <sighs> right, big relief. Um, the moment, I didn't do the maths, but the moment I saw myself on place nine, I thought, I hope I make it in, in the top three, right? Ranked one, and I was ranked one for the next hour. Don't count me on it, maybe it was 45 minutes, but it felt forever. I was ranked up there, and we got very close to, um, how do you say, the winner's ceremony, and people came to me and started uh, congratulating, shaking my hands, and I said, don't do it. I knew, I knew there was another guy left who did, who had the B test, he'd eight last one, so that is pretty cool if you can run at the end. And 
I saw him when he came in and he looked jacked, massively jacked. Um, and I heard he's a very good crossfitter. So I knew his score is not updated. And then the last update of the score, uh, of, the, of the leaderboard, uh, placed him first, placed me second. Um, so first of all, congratulations to, uh, to Ivan. Uh, you made it. I obviously didn't like it. <laughs> I, uh, as I said, I, I paused the last three months to prepare for that competition. I gave it my all, so I'm happy, I'm, I'm proud. Um, but I assume, or I know all the successful guys around me, uh, all the fighters around me, all the, all the athletes around me, they, they train and they compete to win, um, as I do. So, uh, I definitely, uh, I definitely didn't like it. So I hope I didn't look too mean on, on the videos and pictures. I tried to hide my face, but uh, again, it was a fantastic day. The Under Armour Combine is such a great uh, test of limits, as they call it, right? It's a great fitness test, eight disciplines. Um, let me count them quick for you. We got, we got the bench press, the vertical jump, uh, the pull-up, the reaction test, the sled push as power, 40 at sprint, an agility test and then the endurance test where we do that bleep test so it, it, nothing to be specialized in um, very low entry level uh, if you want to test your limits <clears throat> test test your yeah um, conditioning skills your athletic abilities uh, so I can highly recommend if you if you want to compete in something then compete there if you want to win you got to put in the work, I believe, next year. Let's say like this. I don't believe, I don't assume, but I will be there stronger, fitter, faster uh, because I want to get the W next year, of course, 2024. Yeah, let's conclude. Thanks to Anna Amos, thanks to everyone who worked there. Thanks to my team, team Ryan, Jibby, uh, Pim. Um, we won the, the team event, so we're going to get some nice Under Armour gear. Um, I might I might have a chance to show you what I get and yeah that's now four or five days ago I feel happy I had a lot of pizza um, and I will slowly go back to work uh, back to training back to the next competition and I keep you updated about this